All right, YouTube, I'm back again, and uh, I was planning on doing more book reviews, and I definitely plan on doing that in the future, but I kind of got called away. I went, ended up going to Vancouver, Canada for about two and a half weeks to see an old friend of mine, and uh, that, that was pretty cool. But uh, while I was gone, I, uh, I definitely thought about it. I talked to a friend, and I'm going to try and continue to do the photo book reviews as much as possible. I might even reshoot the two I've done. Some people didn't like the fact that I'd split the one, uh, the one review. I'd spread it across three books, I guess. They wanted one video, one book kind of reviews. So I might look into redoing those, but uh, for now, I get this right here. Right after I got home, I was kind of snooping around on Craigslist. I like to go on there because sometimes you can find really good deals on old camera gear, and that's exactly what I got right here. Look at this bag. It might not be immediately recognizable as an old camera bag, but it is. You know, a lot of people aren't used to seeing zippers and stuff on them nowadays. They're usually all little snaps and Velcro and stuff. But this one is actually it's actually a pretty nice quality leather, pretty well-built bag. It's got quite a bit of padding in it. Uh, you got two big compartments and one smaller one for more like batteries or filters, or maybe manuals, that's actually what's in here. But uh, let's get to the contents, because that's what's really interesting. And da -da. This right here is a Canon AE-1 program, and it's in almost perfect condition. There's not really any scratches on it. It's got the original factory sticker. Uh, even the little battery in there that runs the uh, light meter was still working. I think it's getting a little low, but it's, it's still working. I opened it up. It's not corroded or anything. And this is pretty cool. It's got a, it actually has a program mode. That's where it gets the name from. That was probably one of the first cameras to have a program mode. And, uh, I, of course, it came with some accessories. This right here is a 24mm 2.8 lens. Uh, that's probably the main reason I bought this set. It's kind of a somewhat valuable lens, not worth a fortune. But I only paid $75 for the whole set, and that, that one lens is worth considerably more than that. So I think that this alone pretty much made it worth it. Uh, when I got it, there wasn't any film or anything in it. I was actually kind of surprised. It looked like it had been very well taken care of, and they'd gone to great trouble to take care of their film and lenses and everything. So I put a roll of uh, Fuji film in there. I forget exactly what type. It's just... Fuji color film, uh, ASA 400, but I'm going to at least ro uh, run a roll through it and see what it looks like. And uh, of course there's some other little goodies. It had an old strap on it. I took it off because I'm not crazy about it. It's pretty thick and it's kind of, it seems like it's gotten warped over the years. But it does have kind of a cool feature where there's little, uh, sort of little loops under there where we can store rolls of uh, film. I don't know how comfortable that would be, but it's kind of an interesting idea. It's actually kind of like some of the custom straps I've made for myself. Uh, up front, you've got the uh, all the manuals. There's one for the light that came with it, one for the camera, and this one, which is more of just kind of a more of an ad for lenses or sort of a lens catalog than anything else. Uh, and then back here, you got the flash. You even had the little uh, I guess diffusion cap or whatever you call that. Turn it around on the back. You got the ASA setting. You can do the aperture setting on off. Again, there, there were no batteries in there, which I was kind of surprised. A lot of people leave the batteries in there and they corrode and ruin the flash. But this one. Didn't have any batteries in it, so it's still in, looks like, perfect shape. Not even sure it was used a whole lot, but still pretty nice. And lastly, uh, something pretty pretty expected. This is a 50mm 1.8 lens. Uh, I think this probably would have been the kit lens that came with this camera, because it seems like most of the cameras I see include this lens, and it's, it's pretty cheap when you look it up online, so I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Uh, the only problem with it was, when I got it, I played around with it for a while and I noticed the aperture blades were stuck wide open and I was kind of worried. I almost, I almost th thought about throwing away the whole set uh, just because of that or selling it all off because like I said, the, the lens was alone would have made me a little bit of a profit and with the camera together, I think I could have netted a pretty good profit. But uh, I looked online and I found out that's a pretty common problem. You can actually fix it by just uh, taking off this filter. You pop up this little plastic rim. It's really easy with a knife. There's three screws. You unscrew that. You carefully pull out the, um, the forward element and then you're uh, pretty much in there. You can see the uh, little aperture blades. There's three screws on that. You can pull it out. I cleaned them off. There's a bunch of oil on them from, I guess, uh, the focusing ring or something. And I cleaned them off, and it seems to be working pretty well. I can see it looks like there might be a tiny bit more of an oily buildup on there, so I might have to pop it open and clean it again in a month or two's time. But for now, it seems to be working perfectly. And uh, all in all, I think I got a really nice little find here. Only 75 bucks for all of it, and that's a camera, two lenses, and a flash. Um, honestly, don't know how much use I'll be getting out of that flash. It looks like it's going to be a little tricky. I think most people go with uh, digital when you're going to use a light setup. It's a lot easier. Uh, don't know about this old uh, strap either. But the bag's pretty nice, again. Nice leather bag, good condition, a lot of padding. And uh, especially the camera and this 24mm lens are just beautiful. I just I can't wait to try them out. So uh, stay tuned for that. I'll have some reports back. And hopefully I'll get some more photo book reviews up pretty soon. I was trying to... Uh, contact some of the authors and stuff. I actually I emailed a couple of them and uh, I, I didn't really get, I, one never gave me a response, one uh, I got a response from someone who claimed to be the social media 
director or advisor for the photographer, and they never really uh, were able to give me any information or say anything definitive, and that was a few weeks ago. So hopefully, I think I'm just going to go ahead and do some, even if I can't get in contact with the photographers. Uh, so stay tuned for that, because i got a lot more stuff coming up.